And welcome, welcome to uh, the third day of the Spring Blog Festival. You can see our next speaker. My name is Nelly Deutsch, and there's Andre Spang, and we are in Germany right now. Am I right? Uh, we just came back from the yes. United States. Mm -hmm. It was a long trip, but we made it, and we made it in time. Uh, people will be coming in. It'll take them a bit of time to get to get here. Some are faster than others. Um, so, uh, Andre, you'll watch the chat box. Uh, there are people from all over. If you can add in the chat where you're from, uh, we've got Venezuela there. And um, I'm not going to take any more of your time because uh, we want to hear from you, Andre. So I'll mute my mic and I'll let you start on blogging. Yes. Thank you, Nelly. I hope uh, you can hear me well. Uh, you can hear me well, and if, if uh, there's something wrong with my sound, let me know. Uh, so, hello everybody, hello from Germany, and I already posted a link um, where you can find information about my session and all the links. And also it's a good idea to, maybe if you are on Twitter, to follow me. Uh, I just posted here in the chat because I will tweet out um, all the links that I'm talking about and then you can easily click and, and uh, bookmark them. Okay, here we go. I'm talking about uh, engaging student collaboration with blogs, Twitter and Wine. That's the topic and as you can see and um, um, so let's move to the second slide. Uh, you can read my name again. It's Andre Spang. I'm from Cologne. Actually, not born in Cologne, but living in Cologne for a long time now. And I'm teacher at the Kaiser and Augusta Gymnasium. Uh, it's a secondary school, uh, high school, and uh, I'm uh, teaching religion and music. And um, actually, I'm not an English teacher, so I hope my English is fine for you. Uh, I try my best, and uh, my students uh, call me um, uh, iPad teacher because I'm conducting a project with iPad my school. Okay, and um, this is the front view of my uh, school, the Cousin Augusta School, and uh, there's also uh, the uh, the web link of the the website of the school. So if you want to have some information about the school, you can go there. We have about 1,000 learners um, and, uh, uh, of course, a lot of parents. And we have uh, around 90 colleagues uh, teaching at that school. Um, and, um, okay, as a Cologne inhabitant, uh, I'm proud of the big monument in Cologne. It's the Cologne Cathedral, which you can see here. and. Um, also, it's close to the big uh, rail, uh, rail, train, rail train station and you see the bridge there on the right and the Philharmonics on the left and the River Rhine in front of it. And my school is pretty close to that. And this is the first blog uh, that I want to talk about a little bit. It's the blog uh, for my iPad project that I'm coordinating at my school. And um, I, there I blog about my experiences and I blog about best practices that we do with those iPads and that uh, my colleagues are uh, doing with the iPads. You can find it uh, under this link. And um, this uh, blog actually exists for three years. Actually, it exists uh, uh, the same time as the project exists. I just started it on uh, the first day of the project and um, yeah, actually you can also uh, the, the the colleagues can share the iPads they can make reservations when they want to use it so I have open pages on that blog and I also have closed pages the reservation page for example is a closed page where you need a password and then you can uh, make a reservation uh, for that iPad uh, actually, it's very busy uh, blog, like uh, almost 200,000 views and like 170 posts on it. And um, second blog that I'm showing 
is a blog for our German uh, Twitter chat, the ad chat, DE is for Deutschland. And um, in uh, we blog, a colleague, and, and we blog there, and we provide links and reviews. And also, we post a poll for the topics of every week where the participants can vote for the top topics. And uh, also, we provide some fan stuff there, like badges and posters. And uh, so, I'm busy uh, also on this blog. And uh, um, so, now let's go uh, deeper into the school uh, um, view of blogging. So, school is uh, uh, and internet are uh, coming together, and uh, so. Uh, first of all, I wrote a lot of uh, tags, uh, and most of them are tools and uh, platforms uh, that come in mind when we talk about internet. And in the middle, you can see the media literacy. That's uh, what uh, we foster uh, our students. We should teach them media literacy, and we should also foster. Uh, individualized learning of our students and how can us help uh, uh, the internet uh, by pushing this forward and how can we uh, uh, teach them about this thing. So uh, first thing I want to uh, tell you is like, <laughs> and you probably know uh, since you're here in this uh, session, um, that we don't need an expert anymore. Our role has changed uh, uh, when we uh, can find uh, the uh, information and knowledge all over. It's mobile. We can find it uh, on our phone and on our laptop, and we can easily find information about all kinds of stuff. So uh, what I learned in a, actually in an open course is uh, the community is the curriculum. It was a course on peer-to-peer -peer university. Uh, it's called Rhythmatic Learning, and it's about collaboration and learn like the uh, um, uh, all together and everything everybody brings in uh, something and uh, you can find your own interests and learn about so uh, the important thing is the collaboration of learners and not the knowledge of one expert I actually uh, found this picture on Twitter from a guy named dog Bob LA and he tweeted it and so I use it for my presentation so maybe um, it's not the teacher 2.0, but uh, it's uh, what I actually sometimes do. I do some flipped classrooms, so I record my, I videotape my uh, expert input, so I don't have to um, repeat it uh, every year, and so I can provide the videos from the students, and then in, in class we can uh, uh, talk about uh, problems and we can uh, uh, be creative and uh, we can communicate and maybe we can write some blogs and uh, I can I save the time uh, for my input I, I just put it on the video so they can see it at home and I can for example uh, collect the videos on a blog so um, this is like the key part of our role uh, to um, foster the forces of 21st century skills and I wrote that down. As, uh, I actually showed this uh, uh, page a couple of weeks ago in another course. Uh, it's collaboration, uh, communication, critical thinking, and creative creativity. Excuse me. And I think actually creativity is a, a nice thing uh, that you can foster with those web tools. And uh, I will show you more about that in the following slides. So this is just an impression of my iPad project and this is, this is me. I'm a little bit younger than now, three years ago, and some students that already left the school. And um, I'm uh, using a lot of uh, platforms, personal learning platforms, with my project. Actually, I'm using a wiki and I'm re also using blogs and uh, Twitter and social media. Uh, in the project. And so I want to show you some uh, examples. The blogging platforms that I'm actually using uh, for, for myself and also with students 
are WordPress and uh, Tumblr blogs. Actually, Tumblr blogs, um, uh, students like them very much. Actually, the students uh, do have a lot of uh, Tumblrs for their private use. And um, WordPress is a little bit more, uh, it offers more maybe possibilities, but it's also a little bit more complicated. And you, uh, so you, you should decide uh, if you want to do the easy one or want to go the, the full uh, featured version. So those platforms, uh, maybe a lot of you know them already. I can strongly uh, recommend. And they are also for free. So that's a nice thing. And you can do a lot of things with them. So first, uh, I show you teacher and student blogs using the WordPress platform. OK, so um, this is a blog uh, that I'm using uh, almost four years now. And I use it for my music project class. Um, and it's a teacher blog, so I'm writing on it. And uh, students uh, only commenting on it. Um, but uh, what we do, um, see on the first, on the front page, we have a, a personalized uh, version of it. Like we, we did a picture with uh, some figures of the students. So, and um, we have those posts uh, on the first page. And what we mostly post are videos because it's a music class. And actually, we post uh, videos about the songs that we learn. And uh, what we do in class, the students uh, produce uh, like tutorials, like play-alongs, how to play videos of the songs. And I instantly record them with my mobile phone. And um, then I instantly upload it to YouTube. And I uh, um, put the links on the blog. And then when the students come home after the school day, they can uh, see the videos at home that we did uh, at the morning. And they can practice at home. And they can listen to what we talk. And so that's very good. Um, actually, before I had a blog and after I created the blog, I was um, uh, seeing the students learn much better uh, um, playing and listening along to these videos. And what I also can uh, um, post here are like next dates uh, when we play uh, concerts. So they have all in one place. It's a very nice thing. And um, the students also can take notes on their iPad. And they can send it to me, and I will post it on the blog. And actually, if I sometimes, <laughs> it doesn't happen very often nowadays, but if I sometimes use uh, the Blackboard, um, and then just post it on my, what I call whiteboard, on my blog. And um, after everything went good, and we had a nice rehearsal and a nice concert, I can post uh, photos of our concert here. And then uh, uh, people can uh, see it, the students can see it, and the parents can also see it. So let's have a look at the dashboard of WordPress. So that's like the model of the blog. You can control everything. Like you have the statistics and a lot of information. And you can do a lot of settings on the left side here. Um, um, so you can see you have uh, 117 posts and a lot of comments. And you have two pages. And you have uh, a lot of visitors. And you get a, a general overview. And uh, you can handle the posts and the comments and the settings. Um, actually, very interesting thing is the widgets. Um, the widgets is like you can enhance your blog site with different uh, kind of social media stuff. Like you can uh, include a Twitter widget. And you have a Twitter wall front page. Or you can in, uh, include a Facebook like button uh, on the front page. Uh, where people can like the blog. So uh, that's very interesting uh, for the students if they have a lot of likes on their blog. And the, the themes of the blog is like the, the layout and uh, how it looks like. They, the most uh, uh, themes are for free. So uh, you can just 
go completely free, but you can also uh, get some paid uh, themes if you want that are very neat, but uh, you can uh, just decide if you need it. And you can uh, individually design your blog with pictures and the head header pictures and stuff like that. Uh, you can include text, pictures, videos, mixed content into your posts. Okay. Um, this is the view of the posts of the music project blog. So you see our latest post. And I just post once a week on Wednesday when the project class is. And, uh, and I post, uh, as I said, I post the, the, the videos we did in the a lesson or sometimes some music, uh, some some uh, texts or something like that. Um, uh, on the left side here, you see the edit view of the blog post. And uh, uh, interesting here is the, the YouTube link. So if you have a YouTube video, for example, if you uh, English teacher and you want to include some uh, YouTube uh, videos, uh, just for listening comprehension or something like that. Um, and that's a nice thing. And you can very easily do it because just you, you, you go to YouTube and you copy the link of the YouTube video and then you post it into your uh, uh, text. And uh, when you hit the, um, um, the button to save the post, uh, you will see this one. It's published and you will see uh, this link turning into the video preview. So that's very neat. You just don't have to do anything else. It's just all automatically. And this is another example for a blog where not I am only blogging. Um, I'm uh, blogging here uh, uh, mainly as the admin and the main author, but also uh, some students can post as authors and other students uh, can comment. And so we change roles time after time so that everybody can uh, be an author. And with WordPress, that's where you can control uh, the posts and the comments. So you can set them to moderation. So what happens is if a student posts at home, uh, I just get a, a, a message and then I see uh, his post and then I can look through it. And if I think everything is cool, I can publish it. So that's very com comfortable. So you don't have to worry about if there's something uh, posted uh, before you just uh, had a look to it. And um, if everything is working well, I can strongly recommend uh, to uh, um, um, take the students responsible themselves or let them uh, a blog and publish all uh, at a, all alone. So they have to be responsible for what they do. Um, this is another example. That's a year nine. Actually, now we had seen the year five music and the year six religion. And this is the year nine, also religion. And so there the students are all blogging as authors. And I'm the admin of the blog. And um, we also have some students that maintain the site so that they, they can change uh, the, the theme and the, the design. And uh, very interesting is uh, we have a lot of comments. So if students post themselves, other students are commenting. So you get this communication collaboration stuff. And you also can have a couple of students uh, uh, work together as authors. You, you can handle that very nice uh, with your WordPress uh, installation. Um, actually, uh, WordPress is just, a, you can use it online uh, if you go to wordpress.com or you can also, if you want, you can also install the WordPress software on your own server if you have one. So you have the complete control, but you don't actually need it. I didn't do that and everything is fine since years. But you can uh, decide what you want to do. The WordPress software is uh, available as a free download. And, and this one is a blog of a colleague of mine. And she's a, actually, she, she's finally, she's an English teacher uh, here in the uh, session. And she used it for her 13th graders. 
uh, which we actually don't have anymore here in Germany because our school system changed. So this was uh, in 2010. Um, now we only have 12 grades and then uh, the high school is finished. And uh, what she did, uh, she posted a poem of Samuel T. Coleridge, you probably know, and he was writing a, a devastating portrayal of Cologne uh, in the 18th century, and the task was uh, for the students, they should write something uh, against it in reply, and you see uh, they wrote a lot, they wrote 14 poems, uh, and um, just replying uh, to this uh, poem. So they had much fun and they learned a lot and they commented each other. It was a nice thing. Um, okay. So if you are on a mobile, uh, there's uh, actually an app. You know, there's always an app for everything. I just downloaded a, an app for drinking coffee yesterday and you can download an app for uh, um, using your WordPress site. It's uh, a free app and it's uh, file functioning so you can all that I showed you you can do it uh, on your mobile phone uh, these are some screenshots of uh, the app uh, on the left side you see like the dashboard you have your your posts and your pages your comments statistic and you can look how the site will uh, look for the for the uh, uh, for the viewers and um, on the right side you have the posts actually this is the music project blog again so the same posts and in the middle you have the edit uh, view where you can uh, uh, write your text and you can just you can um, uh, make some settings for the text. You can bold it and italic, underline, and you also can include links and you can uh, include photos. If you switch off the keyboard, you will find the photos here and then you can put it into your post. So, fully mobile. And now let's have a look on Tumblr blogs. Um, the blog I'm showing you now is a, a project that I did with year nine students. Uh, in religion and it was about love and so students <laughs> liked it very much and one group of students um, uh, they uh, created everything completely on their own they w come to me and they said oh can we create a tumblr blog because we use it for ourselves uh, uh, for private uh, we use tumblr a lot and we know it very well and I said well here you go and so they created the blog and they did everything. Uh, they posted and reposted a lot of photos uh, um, about love and, and uh, they also posted poems and um, they uh, also have a, a field where you can uh, comment and ask them questions. And so this is a very nice uh, uh, Tumblr blog. You should have a look, of it. You should have a look of, on it. And so what happened is they were completely responsible. They took care of everything. Uh, they are the admin. I didn't do anything on this blog. I just was like, wow, it's great. And they created all the posts and they uh, found pictures and videos and reblogged it. And they also handled answers to the questions and uh, had collaboration with other people uh, seeing this blog. This is also an example for a Tumblr blog. Um, and this is from my year 11 in uh, music. And uh, what we do, uh, we use Google, uh, Google Plus and we use Google Hangouts and we um, produce a Google Hangout TV show once a week, actually uh, at 9.30 uh, a.m. German daylight time, <laughs> so in the morning, so must be middle of the night for most of you, and we go live uh, uh, at this time for five minutes, and in the time before we start at eight, uh, we produce, uh, in a big team, we produce 
uh, this TV show, and we have different topics uh, about music, and students do everything on their own. They find information, and they write the, the moderating text, and um, we have two students moderating uh, the session then, uh, the, 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 excuse me, the show, and um, when uh, we have nine, uh, uh, nine o'clock or ten minutes after nine, we just run uh, one turn through and then go live. And I have one student in this group, she's responsible for this Tumblr blog, so she collects all the videos of the hangouts we do and pictures and additional stuff, and uh, she created this Tumblr, and we also have a jingle, which you can see uh, on the top, and she also includes the jingle of our TV series, so if you click on the Tumblr, you will hear our jingle, and this uh, is the Tumblr uh, dashboard, so you have the imprint, and you can uh, change the design, and you can see here's the posts, and you can also embed videos, of course, and you can also upload videos, which is a cool feature for Tumblr. And you can actually, not I, but my student, uh, she can edit the HTML code to make it uh, nicely look and functioning. Um, okay, and this is also an app uh, for mobile devices. So, um, if you want to use Tumblr on your uh, mobile device, no problem. Here you go, you can download this app and you can um, uh, do everything from your mobile phone. Actually, uh, uh, it's very nicely functioning. You see here some screenshots and you have those uh, buttons you can press and if you want to post some text, or if you just want to post a link or photos or uh, uh, something like that, you have uh, the right the button at the right place. Um, so uh, let's go back to uh, what's important: the four C's of the 21st century skills, and how can I foster them um, by using blogs? in my lessons, or for myself, and for my students, and with my students. Um, so, this is the first slide with a lot of text on it. Um, so, I'm just going to read this and explain a little. So, uh, with blogging, of course, you can and chance foster collaboration. You can, if you blog for yourself, you uh, get in contact with other uh, um, teachers on the web, they comment, and uh, you can communicate and collaborate together with them. Uh, you can also collaborate in the class. If you have a blog where the content, you, you store all the content of all the students, uh, it's like your collaboration platform, and it's very transparent, and everything, everybody can see what's happening and what's produced. And also very interesting is you can uh, uh, get international collaboration, very good for uh, English teacher, and um, you can like connect with other countries and do uh, international projects. And um, communication also, if you use uh, comments, and you can communicate with uh, outside the school, which is very interesting, and like it's a, it's a real life, that's what the students know, and uh, they are online and communicating with others, and so you can uh, bring this into the school, into the classroom. It's, uh, you can uh, foster creativity, of course, uh, and they have to write the posts, and they have to create videos that they post, and they have maybe to, f to design pictures, and um, or to produce music that they can use, and uh, so creativity is a big thing. Um, and also they have to think critical because they publish, they are publishers, so they have to read different sources and uh, think about all the information and write their own text. And also um, important for me, uh, you have an extra bonus uh, uh, getting uh, through blogging, because if you blog, you create 
like what what you call OER, like Open Educational Resources. You create uh, a material, online material that other teachers and other learners and students can use. Um, and uh, so my students learn a lot about Creative Commons and uh, about the use of licenses. And they also learn about Netiquette, so how to uh, behave on the internet, which is very important. And they don't learn it just by talking about, they learn it by doing it. And so uh, Creative Commons is a big thing for me because actually I'm sharing a lot. Uh, and uh, I think sharing is caring is a very, very important thing nowadays. So just uh, uh, some words about the licenses. Actually, those, this uh, presentation you're just seeing is under this license. It's uh, Creative Commons um, um, by um, author. So you just can use it and remix it. Just uh, uh, put my name. Uh, uh, as credit on it and everything is fine. Um, and so my students learn about all those licenses which are looking, if you've never saw it, seen it, they are looking very cryptical, but my students now know what's going on. Also the year five students know where they can find uh, pictures under free license and how uh, they can remix it and how they have to see it. See it and um, everything. Um, so that's a good uh, bonus that you get through plugging and working on the web. So uh, you create open educational resources and you are not a taker, but you are a maker. <laughs> so that's a nice thing. Okay, um, this quote um, I found in a, a German book uh, of uh, actually, I know those two uh, guys that wrote it, and they are running a, a big um, fair about blogging. It's called the Republika. It's a, a big event in Germany once a year, and uh, all bloggers and, and Twitterers are meeting there in Berlin. And uh, it says, for children and adolescents, digital media and the internet don't mean technology, but natural environment and culture. And I think it's a very good sentence, bring it to the point. And so if I use blogs and web technology uh, in my lesson, I uh, just follow this sentence. And <laughs> one more bonus, uh, my students are no more bored with the board uh, because uh, this is my board. Actually, I'm standing here and this is my tablet and you can see the same here uh, in front of the room. Um, and um, I'm connected uh, uh, via wireless LAN and I can show my blogs and wikis and uh, sites uh, to the students and also the students can write very easily and everything is seeing it. And we have, after the lesson is finished, we have and everything, everybody can see it at home. So I'm a paper-free teacher. just me. I always think it's me. Um, can you hear us? Um, we seem to have lost. Maybe you clicked, you disabled your mic by mistake. Oh, now you're hearing me. That's me. Um, can you hear Andre? Oh, is he screen sharing? I don't think he's screen sharing. At least uh, I don't see that he's screen sharing. Uh, but maybe he's trying. No, he's not trying to screen share. Uh, paper free or paperless? I always wonder about that. No, that's okay, Shelley. You're right. That does happen. It does freeze. So, uh, okay, Cheryl's fine. You are in. Good for you.
So I don't know. Um, what happened but Andre should be back oh is it fine there can you hear Andre oh no not me <laughs> oh no son okay all right just checking um let's see Oh, you see, yeah, right. Let, let me check and see. Um, yeah, thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl's answering me in another classroom. Um, let me try to see if we can get Andre on um, in the group on... Um, okay, in the meantime... Um, while we're waiting and I'm trying to figure things out. Um, Shelly, would you like to introduce uh, what's going to happen next? Get a, Kind of get a promo going. Is that okay? Okay, great. All right, so I'm going to try to connect with Andre on Skype and see if I can uh, get some help. Shelly, do you have the link to the co-presenter? Um, Okay, I found you. No need. Okay, there we go. All right. There you are. Hi. Sorry. Good morning. Oh. Good to see you. <laughs> Our last day. Everyone, it seems sorry. like it's my been hair. a year. So, my dear sister. <laughs> all right. <laughs> family family affair. Hi. Sorry. It's my teaching day. I look a little oh, crazy here. Oh, it's okay, my teaching sorry. day. So, I've been <laughs> teaching really early. Uh, so, no, I'm saying... And excuse my uh, <laughs> appearance. I'll, I was trying to put on makeup and stuff for the next one. Um, I do want to say something about Andre. Andre is really uh, incredible. I connected with him on uh, social media and Twitter, and he even sent me his uh, kids' Tumblr projects and their, um, which I loved because it's uh, they created a whole Tumblr blog on love, and they had lots of examples of pugs. And you know I love pugs. Uh, but Andre is, um, he didn't know that when I uh, connect with people on Twitter, what I do is I look at their stuff, especially if we talk back and forth. And uh, when I was going through his stuff, because I uh, used to teach in Germany, so I do speak a little bit Deutsch, but I feel very Deutsch. It's been a while since I've spoken. German, so <laughs> you'll have to excuse me. <laughs> but uh, but Andre, uh, oh, I don't back? know how to make him a presenter. Let me take him back. But he, oh, he's, I'm sorry. Uh, very, yes, we oh, noticed that. Um, no, but uh, um, no, you only see. Yeah, but that's yeah. But he's that's, at the very bottom. That's not working. I thought he came back as uh, a regular person. No, okay, I'll keep trying. Oh, he did. He did. Uh, he did. He did. Yeah, but that's come back. Uh, yeah, he's on the very, very you, bottom. No, you see, Andre, he says I can like, hear you. Um, Andre, can you go on Skype if you can hear us? You use the co-presenter link. Yeah, I can see, but you're not. You're not appearing, so I can't do anything as a co-presenter. <laughs> Um, unless you come in as a regular person, then I can make you a presenter like I did with Shelly, or yeah. you can go on Skype and we can figure that out. But I think it's faster if you come in. Do you have the link to the session? Can anybody add, uh, Tom probably has it at his fingertips, add the link to this session and then, um, Andre can click on that and come in. There you go, Andre. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Shelly. Great. Here you perfect, go, Andre. Perfect. I got it right here. You're faster than Tom. Tom, shame <laughs> See, on you. On. Okay, there's Veronica too. Where's but, Tom? Um, <laughs> but one of the good things about Andre is that um, his students are always doing new, uh, different things too. Um, but they did it on love. And then he recently show, shared with me an Instagram. But when I was going through his stuff, um, I noticed I was reading some of the German things. And I found an article, and the article was sharing how 
Andre is famous. He's the uh, iPad, known as the iPad teacher of all of Germany. And I said, wow, you keep telling me I'm the celebrity, but in fact, you are the celebrity. You are the iPad teacher of Germany. So I've uh, since then, I've gotten him to join. Um, he actually was one of the curators in my MOOC, in my massive open online course. Um, Andre, you Great. have... Oh, okay. So now I'll you're in as a participant. There. So I think we... Okay, in, there you are, Andre. I just wanted to say, there, hi. Just, so just I did because to we brought you that back, came in royalty for us, you played a for us. Person. All right, there, Andre's <laughs> back. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, play for us. I think that's a yes. great idea. And yes, play for because us. Because I have a German name. <laughs> I think I, uh, I deserve something from Germany. <laughs> Now we can hear and Hello? see you. Can, and, you, can um, you still hear me? Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. So I don't know what happened. It just so welcome. Okay. So I don't know what happened. It just so welcome to technology. <laughs> but I'm back on, and I'm gonna move forward maybe a little faster. Though I stopped at uh, this page um, about Twitter. Uh, it's a, actually it's a uh, Twitter that we uh, use with German educators. And um, Twitter is my, as I said, my uh, biggest learning uh, network. Uh, I already showed uh, this to you. And I think it's uh, very true, because I learn a lot from Twitter. And the community there is uh, bringing it to me automatically. And I try to give some back. And for school, um, uh, we are using a um, Twitter account for my school and actually I'm I'm like uh, um, writing uh, on it and I'm publishing like events and if we do projects uh, with the students but also in classroom Twitter is a very nice thing so uh, we use it for debates we had this uh, use debates in uh, year eight and uh, so the students had to uh, move forward very fast because it's a fast medium and uh, they also had to get to the point because they only have 130 char 40 characters uh, for writing uh, their arguments. Uh, actually my uh, year five students go wild uh, with Twitter and uh, we have an own Twitter account for my religion class, class and they uh, like it so much so they uh, created a Twitter handle here uh, for our Twitter, uh, f uh, a Twitter picture for our Twitter uh, handle, and uh, they learned about hashtags. And uh, then we started a project uh, actually for the last advent. We created a Twitter advent calendar, and uh, teams, uh, peer teams, are tweeting each day. They tweeted something about the advent and about Christmas and. Uh, they had a lot of fun, and uh, it was so much fun to them that they also tw uh, tweeted during the holidays after Christmas, so it was very motivating. And how did I do this? I just created one account, and I gave the account name and the password uh, to the students, and students were fully responsible for everything, and they did a real great job. So uh, it was very nice. And I has uh, had the explanation for everything and the tutorials I had on a blog. Uh, so we had a, a blog along with the Twitter uh, project. And so um, uh, students can uh, read information when they don't know how it works. And they can find uh, links and pictures that we collected that they can tweet out. And also we had schedule uh, that we um, uh, made in the class so that they know when to Twitter. So this is uh, kind of bonus material. Actually, I also found that tip on Twitter. And uh, along with the Twitter project in the blog, we created an advent calendar with another class. And we collected uh, the best tweets and pictures uh, with this advent calendar. And it's made with Weebly dot a free tool for making blogs and uh, home pages and so that's a very 
cool tool I can recommend. This is the dashboard also, and you see it's very easy to handle. You have those buttons for title and image and text and so on. And uh, so you uh, you can actually. I had one student in class uh, six. He learned it by his own, and he was the uh, webmaster for the website. So why use Twitter? Uh, also to get connected, and actually you get connected very fast on Twitter. It's open. It's very fast functioning. You get in touch with peers. Actually, in the uh, Yao's debates and uh, youth debates in year eight, uh, we talked about um, uh, um, television program and uh, students were discussing uh, if uh, who is making the television program and should we have this uh, serious and this soap and actually then we have a lot of television uh, broadcasters here in Cologne actually one broadcaster was answering uh, over Twitter and that was very nice so we had a discussion going on in the classroom um, so the last one uh, I want to show you is Vine it's uh, a video platform connected with Twitter and you can create very short videos with Vine it's only seven seconds uh, and then it's finished and you can't you can't make it longer it's limited and um, I made a project with my year 12 students in music. Uh, they had to create uh, short uh, tutorials about musical instruments. And uh, they used Wine. We have, have the app on our iPads, and it's connected to Twitter accounts on the iPads. And uh, so they created a lot of uh, short tutorials using wine and you can uh, watch those wines on mobile phones and also on the web and uh, you can uh, use the app for creating the wines on iOS and Android and it's a free app and uh, what I did I um, posted the tasks on a wiki page and then uh, students uh, found peer groups and then they created short tutorials with wine and uh, they uh, they posted uh, uh, they had to post those wines, um, uh, tweet the links, and then they had to collect the links on a wiki page. You see uh, some examples of the wines we created here on the screenshot. Um, so the features is they the students have to concentrate very much on the main facts because they only have seven seconds. Um, and uh, they had to learn and to use uh, hashtags and they have um, sometimes they created uh, uh, some series of vines to make it longer so and uh, it was very motivating and uh, the students were learning by teaching okay um, um, with the queue made it and, and now this is my last uh, slide and uh, once again uh, you see the four C's of uh, 20th century skills collaboration communication critical thinking and creativity and uh, so through blogging Twitter and wine I hope I show you that you can engage students you can enhance uh, collaboration of peers you can foster their communication skills you can strengthen their critical thinking skills and you can encourage their creativity with those web tools. And now I'm open for right. questions and answers. Thank you so much, answers. Alan. Thank you for being so resilient and uh, managing to come back as if nothing had happened. I don't know how you felt, but you certainly looked very, very calm and uh, collected. <laughs> so. Um, some of us would like to hear you. I, we, we, we just can't. It's so tempting. We see the, the keyboard and some other things behind you. If there's a, I don't know, the drums are there too. It would be nice to hear a little bit, but if you're not ready for that, that's okay. We can do that some other time. But since you teach uh, music online as well, is that true? Do you teach music mm -hmm. online? Uh, actually, I, uh, long 
Uh, actually, a uh, long time ago, um, I, I was uh, doing a, a music teaching project here in Cologne online, but we hadn't uh, web tools. We really? just did it with emails and, and stuff like that. And uh, uh, But what I do now is um, I was studying in Boston, and I... Uh, um, was uh, playing a lot together with a friend from Austria uh, that I met there and he uh, went to London and he's a, a great bass player and uh, now I'm uh, uh, producing music together with him over the internet and uh, we have another guy he plays drums he lives in Los Angeles so and we call wow. it the, the uh, cyber band and uh, we produce music for a, a book, for a bass magazine, where you can learn bass, and it's very much fun because, so he sends me uh, some bass and drum files in the Dropbox, and then I play piano, keyboard, and I give it back to him, and then we have a saxophone player, and he's recording the saxophone, and it sounds very nice. You don't even hear Amazing. that we didn't play it together in one room. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, it's very nice, and uh, so it's very comfortable also because you you can um, just uh, uh, produce it when you have time. But I mean, um, as a musician, I can tell you there's right. nothing the better energy, than playing the together energy, right. on one stage. You know, that's why I'm thinking. You know, how <laughs> about having it in say a Wiz IQ class where you would be on? I mean, the three of you would be just the way you are right now which is perfect. You'll see my, um, I'm, I'm recording this on Camtasia. So yeah. you're quite large. I've made your, uh, so I can see you really, you know, um, in a nice large frame. And then you can have all three of you and you could be actually doing your music together. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we should try that because I don't know how, yeah. how uh -huh. it's working with Latin, latencies, you know, but I actually, because uh, when I was producing, I mean, now I'm teaching, that's my main uh, um, business. But when I was producing music, I um, there was one opportunity to record from different <laughs> places. And it never did work nice because you have the latency. But maybe now we should give it a try. That would be a great experience. And maybe it's It it's, would be uh, it's great because so you can have an audience. It. That's the whole point. <laughs> maybe you the can point is that you, you might have yeah. the energy might be there because you could also have the audience. So um, yeah, yeah. exactly. You can yeah, have a concert. Yeah. You can have a big Whoa. audience. <laughs> A live concert. I mean, that would be amazing. Let me know. I, I'd love to help. Can you hear me? No. I think we lost you. Uh, we lost you for some reason. We lost audio. Lost sound again. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, I think that if you're using, I'm using a Mac too. Um, Macs are a bit funny. Uh, you really have to have your flash updated and all kinds of little things there that um, I'll see if I can help you out, Andre, later on with the support of WizIQ. So thank you. Um, thank you so much. Uh, I think these sessions, Cheryl, you remind me that these sessions are too short. I think that, um, you know, it shouldn't be 30 minutes, you know, 60 minutes. It should be an hour and a half. Um, and then if it's less, it's less, but if it's more, we don't have to jump to the next session. So thank you, thank you, and thank you uh, for coming to us from Germany, Andre, and thank you everybody else for coming from all over the world. Um, so it's really exciting, and we do take this for granted, but it's really an amazing, amazing um, festival. And, and the flowers look great. That's perfect for spring. So it's they're already blooming in Germany. You already have, uh, if you could just give me a thumbs up or something. Is that an actual um, tree right now? Hard to believe. But it is springtime and uh, trees will be blooming. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm closing it. We're going to go over to the next session with Shelly and the authors. 
Andre, you're welcome to join us and um, we'll try and see how we can um, work things out around technology. I believe that there is a way. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.